So hatched area is so-called low spot. Yeah, if you are using flat stone, you are not going to reach to this area until you grind down all the surrounding surfaces, which is okay, but there is a better way to do it, which is using convex stone. First, try here. So if I move the knife closer to the edge, which forces me to do it with more angle, the contact area becomes smaller. And then I move towards the flat surface area like this, the contact area becomes bigger. That's how you can fine tune it. If you want to work on a small spot, move closer to the edge with more angle. Can you see it? Only small area. This much area is touching the stone, not all the way to here. So I am showing this kiriha is not straight, flat surface. It is a combination of many different radius of curved surface.
Now this area where I marked 7, 8, they are low spot. So they are lower than surrounding area. That's why they are not touching on the stone. By the way, the reason I rinse off my finger so frequently is because I don't want my fingernails to get dirty. That's a small secret to keep my fingernails clean. Always keep nail brush near when you are doing the sharpening and rinse off frequently. So now I move on to this area. You know, Sharpie is a very useful tool. Uh, you can also use it for checking the edge. So always keep Sharpie in handy. So hatched area is so-called low spot. Yeah, if you are using flat stone, you are not going to reach to this area until you grind down all the surrounding surfaces, which is okay, but there is a better way to do it, which is using convex stone. right here. Okay, this area is done. Next, here. This area almost done. Next here. So, because of the way stone surface is modified, if I move the knife closer to the edge, which forces me to do it with more angle, 
contact area becomes smaller. And then I move towards the flat surface area like this, the contact area becomes bigger. So that's how you can fine tune it. So this is a quick follow-up of my previous video because some people wanted to see the stone surface, how convex it is. It's much easier for me to just show a video or a photo than trying to explain by word. And I used USBA as a sharpening demo example in this video because sharpening USBA is actually really tricky. You know, the wide, flat, actually not flat kiriha is deceiving. Usba is really like MC Escher's artwork. You know, it's so beautifully done, so artistically done. That's why it's so convincing, but it is a lie. Uh, I may make another video about Usba sharpening if there is enough interest. Cutting demo is just a demo. Cutting test is just a test. I'm filming this Saturday, Saturday evening, and from Monday, I will actively start looking for a job, and once I start working regularly, I won't be able to put a video like this quickly. You know, it's going to be realistically, like once a month, twice a month at the most. I am slow, and in case you don't know, I'm shooting everything manual. So when I film scene like this, I have to choose the right time, which is just before, or actually just when the sun is setting, because I like this lighting. And I have to always carry my stand in so that I can focus. I'm almost always shooting with a vintage lens, like 50 years old, 60 years old. That's pretty much it for this video, and uh, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.